Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Oak Tree TV. I'm Dave Kemp and today I want to talk about Nuhera's IQ Buds Boost. So the IQ Buds Boost are Nuhera's second iteration of their original hearable, the IQ Buds. Um, the Boost is, from a hardware standpoint, pretty similar um, to the original IQ Buds. Um, the difference being that these are all jet black. Um, they look cool. Um, but like from a battery life standpoint, they have the same 20 hour battery life as the originals and that's 20 hours of continuous Bluetooth usage. You can also take your um, IQ Buds and pop them into this charging case at any time. This has like three charges in it. So you should never have an issue with battery life. Um, where these start to differ is going to be around the software. Um, one software element that stays the same that I think is a really great aspect to these devices is what's called Sync Smart Intelligent Noise Control. And what this allows for is for you to blend your digital and your physical um, sound environments. So for example, if you're riding a bike, it would allow for you to listen to your music while also being able to hear the outside environment, listening for cars and the like. Um, so that's a very cool element um, of both devices. Now, where it starts to diverge is around things like Ear ID. Um, so Ear ID is the assessment that you take when you use the IQ Buds Boost, and this all stems from a partnership that Nuhera has with the National Acoustics Lab. Um, and so the National Acoustics Lab has given them um, the prescription formula, the algorithmic prescription formula of NAL-NL2, so that when you take this assessment, it tries to as closely align you to the type of hearing loss that it detects. Now, they make a ton of different claims saying that um, this is in no way a replacement for a hearing aid and it's not an alternative for a hearing aid. It's simply meant to be smart earbuds, smart buds, um, that have an element of amplification to them. In addition, I think it's worth pointing out that, you know, with hearables in general, one of the major differences between these and legacy products is that you can upgrade them through software updates and firmware updates. For example, um, Nuhera just released a new firmware update for a feature called Focus, which ultimately it converts what are currently omnidirectional microphones with the IQ Buds into allowing you to use them as directional microphones. Um, so again, kind of giving you more control around the way that you use these things if you so choose to use them in that amplification type setting. So these might be a good option for the patients of yours that come in. Maybe they're on the mild end of the spectrum, they're not quite ready for hearing aids, or they're, they don't see there being a justification for the cost, whatever it might be. Um, this might be a good start you know, for that patient journey um, and something worth considering. So thanks a lot for watching.